I believe that in, in our time, as many, many prophecies have pointed to, uh, that it's, it's easier to begin to tune in to a higher spiritual life than ever before and to, and to f discover one by one these experiences for ourselves. Uh, this is a, an era uh, beyond gurus, uh, even beyond doctrines. Uh, this is a, an era of proving uh, that we can have a, 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 a grand spiritual connection ourselves, opening up to it, knocking on the door, asking for this. Uh, and our brains are hardwired uh, in the way that uh, this feels much the same for every human being uh, in every, from every religious point of view. Uh, it always begins with the perception of synchronicity, these meaningful coincidences that seem to be nudging us toward a greater spiritual acknowledgement of life, uh, nudging us toward uh, moving past our distractions, even addictions, and, and seeking a, a, a spiritual solution to the doubts that we have uh, about life, especially now in this time period. Uh, and once we begin that, then these mysterious coincidences begin to lead us on a journey, an adventure of us on our own. And we immediately, uh, as, as we start to feel awakened, uh, uh, to look at life with fresh eyes, we realize that we uh, are here in a very important historical period. Uh, we're awakening from 400 years, 500 years of a preoccupation with material things of the world, of naming, scientifically naming uh, all the phenomena that uh, exist around us, figuring out at very concrete levels how things seem to operate at at, uh, uh, in the physical world. But as we uh, continue, we realize that uh, humanity has always sought something more than the, uh, than the physical or the material. Uh, even with, with the uh, materialistic era that we're awakening from, there were always urges to find a, a greater spiritual uh, way of life and a consciousness. Uh, that opens, that gives us a sense of certainty and confidence and well-being, even bliss uh, in life. Uh, but these come in increments. Uh, we have to understand that, uh, that the world is uh, not really material at all, uh, that everything is composed of energy fields as uh, physics has already discovered. Uh, we are uh, energy beings in a, a sea of energy, uh, and we, learn, we can learn uh, the dynamics of this energy. Uh, and what, what comes to us, of course, uh, is that we can move past the materialism uh, and also past the ideology uh, that uh, it, we find rampant in the world. Uh, truths uh, not really uh, debated, but uh, truths that are made up in order to control people. Uh, 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 ideologies that want to induct us as a member uh, to gain power. Fascism being the number one uh, example. Far left-wing uh, uh, governments being the second primary example. And realize that we must stay open to the truth always. And as soon as we decide to be open to the truth always, then something uh, amazing happens. Uh, we realize that uh, we're connected to all people, uh, that we have uh, a, a oneness, a telepathy with other people. We have a oneness with soul to soul. Uh, and if we uh, just affirm and intend to have a oneness connection with another person's soul, uh, we tend to transcend the battles of the egos. Who's smarter, who's uh, more capable, who's uh, richer, who uh, dresses best, who's uh, better with the opposite sex or, or with lovers. Uh, all that is transcended 
uh, uh, when we have conversations of the soul. So uh, oneness intention, uh, which you will see uh, uh, everywhere beginning to be spoken about uh, in spiritual circles across, across all religions. Uh, we're one, we're one in the spirit. Uh, something amazing happens when we acknowledge that and affirm to have those kinds of conversations. Ultimately though, we must find for ourselves the experience of what I uh, refer to as a God connection. The rest of our divine knowledge that comes into us. Uh, until then, we're just defensive egos, uh, hoping to survive, hoping to uh, do something uh, in the world. Uh, but when we break through, we become uh, much more than we thought, because then we have an openness, uh, an intuitive guidance that uh, comes to us uh, when we struggle for something to say to the stranger, a way to be helpful to our children. Uh, all the, all the, uh, the interactions of life suddenly lift to a spiritual uh, dynamic. Uh, we can go on past that as once we glimpse it, then we know we're building more and more of this download as an experience, not as a metaphor, as an actual experience of feeling suddenly larger in consciousness. Uh, this, uh, of course, always moves to the social arena uh, with other people. Uh, and as the more we live in this consciousness, the more we have a, uh, an influence that we can feel on others. And the more we're certain that uh, this influence uh, is, uh, can be positive if we stay aligned in truth, uh, and aligned in making a contribution in some way to the world, which means uh, realizing we come here with a mission. We're all on assignment uh, and are struggling to come up with what is this truth that I'm here to tell uh, people everywhere. Uh, this is something that our whole lives then are, are involved in the evolution of this truth into better and better forms, better and better uh, ways of expressing uh, uh, to larger and larger groups of people these truths. Uh, we're all here with an, uh, our own unique truth. Uh, ultimately, we realize that uh, uh, we do come from another place, but this dimension, the, the two dimensions are becoming less and less separate. Uh, we, can, uh, we can have uh, feelings of uh, the presence of departed loved ones. Uh, in fact, uh, in, the, in the Western world, the most reported spiritual experience is a visitation from a departed loved one, uh, according to a recent poll. So uh, th this is happening more and more. People are talking about it more and more, though. And that's, well, that's what marks the change in culture, is that we suddenly feel comfortable talking about this. We have a language that has come out of psychology, has come out of physics, uh, has come out of interactional psychiatry, uh, that has come out of, of uh, the descriptions of the mystics about spiritual experience that we can now begin to suddenly relate to uh, as a real experience that we can have. So we have this rich uh, experience, uh, the main decision that is at hand is to make a decision uh, whether to, uh, to stay in fear and uncertainty or to find a spiritual path that brings us the rest of our knowledge uh, and our, the rest of our divine connection in this life.